is Gregory Friedman goes, I feel like you guys are acting as if both sides are equal. So it, what's interesting about this comment is it would it's impossible to know which side you're talking about being better and which side you're worse, because th this is really what it's all about. Many who are focused on peace work, right? They, they look at things through the, the lens of humanism and that all life is of equal worth. Uh, and, and that's how conversations like this happen, because it's not like it's not about pointing fingers and blame. It's about understanding that if we could value life equally and find a path forward that really cherishes life and and come comes to the table with a solution um, that not only is practical, but that values human life across the board, then that's really the, the best path forward. But just to get a little bit deeper on this, why it's why some people it's not such an obvious statement, which side is right and which side is wrong. So many people who are pro-Palestine and anti-Israel, they're like, okay, well, Israel started it, right? It, it started by Zionists sh showing up and saying, we're going to have an exclusive homeland, um, you know, in a land that's inhabited by Palestinians, and we're going to displace them by, by, you know, buying land from the Ottomans and displacing the inhabitants, right? That was the initial injustice that happened here, um, according to, to this narrative. Um, so they, they view Israel as the, the first aggressor by displacing Palestinians, and then they view Israel as the powerful entity, therefore having more responsibility. And then they look at the, the civilian death toll and they see how much worse Palestinians have been killed than Israeli civilians. So, right, when you look at it through that lens, you're like, okay, obviously Israel's the bad guy, Palestine's the good guy. Pro-Israel pro people, what they see is, they see, okay, well, you know, it's true we're the powerful one, but our intention is to really just live in peace. Their intention is to destroy Israel. So because we're trying to make peace and they keep rejecting it and keep attacking us, obviously we're the good one, we're the bad one. So whether you're pro-Palestine or pro-Israel really depends on which which story you're acknowledging and which story you give more put more emphasis on. But at the end of the day, if we want to find a solution, we need to put pressure on both sides, hold both sides accountable, and have both sides recognize that there's a legitimacy to each other's narratives and really find the best path forward towards peace and reconciliation. So, you know, you, you could try to point fingers all day. I don't think that's going to get us any closer to, to peaceful resolution. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and as these feel free to, to build on that. Yeah, I, I think what we're talking about is the current crisis, current situation. I think in general, if we were talking at a different time, we'll be talking more probably about the occupation and the system and all of that. And last time we talked, that was more of the conversation. So I think it really depends also on when we talking and what's important at that moment. Right now, what I find most important is what we, um, is what we can do to stop killing. That's, I think, the most important. And that means in Gaza, that means in Israel, that means in the West Bank. I mean, we're talking about Gaza and Israel right now, but there's, what, 20 people being killed in the West Bank in the last uh, in the last week? Um, and those are not in the news at all because 20 people compared to so many others in Gaza and in uh, South of Israel, it's not even in the news anymore. So, so that's really, really what we're trying to do is how do you stop the killing of a human beings?